American Girl has just dropped their 2022 Christmas Collector doll. Let's talk about it on the Focus on the Cute! This morning, American Girl dropped a surprise release doll. This is the limited edition holiday doll for this year, 2022. She is also called the American Girl 2022 Sapphire Splendor Collector Doll. Ooh, sparkly. And she retails for $265 right after Claudia and the Truly Me release. My gosh, people. We don't have all this money to just throw. American Girl also increased this doll by $15. Last year, the Winter Princess Collector's Doll of 2021 was $250. This is also a private VIP access. This is an email sent to some Instagrammers. We did not get this email. This was a flyer for the VIP access. You get three times the points if you purchase this doll only today. This is also based on Central Time. So if you're Eastern Time or Pacific Standard Time, you can do the calculations. But the private access stops at 11.59 Central Time. Another thing is we don't really know when this doll will be released like after for the reward members like for non reward members we also don't know how long this doll will be around this year for this doll they did raise the addition size it is no more than 25,000 made and last year for the winter princess dolls there was no more than 13,000 made so they did raise the addition size for this doll also another thing for this year you cannot return this doll it's all sales are final you cannot exchange return same thing pretty much like the harry potter collection which, as a collector, you want to be able to take a look, especially if you're ordering online, if you're not there in person. So I don't really, I don't think a lot of people are going to agree with this. Yeah, another thing is last, for this year's benefit sale, some of the Winter Princess dolls were online. I think that's why people were complaining that there was some quality issues. And if you can't return this doll, people will probably pause on buying this doll. So we're going to kind of just talk a little bit about her and our thoughts. We think she's really pretty. I think if you like purple, blue, and greens, I think you're going to love this doll. I do love her eyes. She has violet eyes. I think I hope they put this as a choice in the Create Your Own. Yes, definitely love her eyes. A lot of collectors on Instagram were talking about her eyes. This is the first time they've used violet eyes. And on American Girl's website in the description, it says she has lifelike violet eyes. And I think they're very beautiful. She also has glitter makeup. And she has the Nenea face mold. For the new Truly Me dolls, they did release about three dolls with the Nenea face mold. And I think it's really cool to see a bunch of other face molds added to the Truly Me line. This limited edition doll comes with a pair of purple sourcey crystal earrings. Her hair is purple, green, and blue. It's curly, it's long, it has a braid in the back. I do like the fact that she has long hair. My personal preference, I would not probably get this doll. I would pass on her. Yeah, I think definitely the colors, for me, I don't really like that color combination. If you do, then this doll will be for you. But I think it's too much with the her hair than her outfit. And if you didn't know that this doll is inspired by the peacock, she also has more than 100 horsey crystals. That is a lot. Although I think this, I really like the colors. I just, I'm not too much into basically the doll's color in her hair, I guess. I like the dress. I'm just not a fan of the doll's wig. I do think her eyes are beautiful. And I hope they use those yes. eyes more with more dolls because I think I it's agree. a beautiful color. Also, here is the outfit laid out. You do get the same thing as kind of last year's Winter Princess. Gloves, a crown, a pendant, a purse, shoes, and of course the dress. Let's take a look at this bodice. Look at all those horsey crystals. It comes in a sweetheart neckline. It's in, It has the horsey crystals all throughout the front of the bodice. I think that is really pretty. Also, this is just my thought out there. She, If you like Princess Jasmine, I think this would be a great Princess Jasmine doll for you. Yeah, she does look similar. Plus the colors, mm -hmm. it seems like that's, you know similar to Princess Jasmine. I think they actually made a limited edition doll with the same printing on the veiling. They did do one, I feel I feel I remember. Or maybe the live action. Yeah, oh, that's right, the live uh -huh. action. She looked almost a little bit like the same gown type of thing, like pattern. I think she would be a great fantasy Princess Jasmine doll. I really do like the, I think this doll does seem very royal. I do like yes. the colors. It's just not personally for me. I think it would have been better if maybe they tried one color with her hair, but then again, maybe they were trying to, you know, make it or highlights. Yeah, or highlights. Yeah, they were just trying to, I think, put
put the peacock throughout the whole doll, not just the dress. And I think, you know, I think the doll does look very pretty in general. And I can't, and also, seeing her in person might change some people's mind, you know. Or maybe also you get to pick your doll out, so we'll have to see after that as well. This limited edition doll does come with a certificate of authenticity. I love the artwork that they put on here. It's really cute. And I also love this box. This is the box she comes in. If you're an in-box collector, the box does look pretty to display. You know, because some people keep the doll in the box and they don't take her out. And there's a little peacock feather right by Sapphire Splendor. Ooh. <laughs> she does look very royal, though. She does look like a pretty doll. I'm not really into the, the way her hair is colored, but I think she is a pretty doll. One of the things I do... I like about this limited edition doll is the violet eyes in her Nenea face mold. Yes, we love the Nenea face mold. So adorable. Next up, we're going to compare this collector doll with the other previous collector dolls. The one on the far left is the Sugar Plum Fairy of the Nutcracker doll. She was released in 2020, retail for $250. And the one on the far right is the Winter Princess, one of them. They released two dolls for the Winter Princess, and they released 2021 and also retail for $250. Next up, we're going to compare the Nutcracker and the Sapphire Splendor doll. One of the things I didn't like about the Nutcracker was the skirt. I thought for the Nutcracker fairy, she, her skirt should have been bigger, fuller. Also, she was a number 86, which was already available at the time. Yeah, I think if you're getting a limited edition doll, especially for that price, you should be getting a unique yes. doll that's special for that limited edition, whatever they're doing. And I think it's also sad when you're getting a repeat doll just without a makeup. I mean, come on, AG. Shame. I like what they did this year with the eyes and the face mold. Yeah, new eyes. I think those eyes are beautiful. I hope they use those eyes again for another any other dolls. This is last year's dolls. They did release two, so you had to choose between one or the other. I think they're both gorgeous. This was our favorite limited edition doll, yes, even with the, including this one, because we love the color pink. But I do wish that it would just be one doll, because it's really hard making a decision between the two. But I understand they had different skin tones, and I think both dolls are beautiful. Also, the dresses. Yes, the, I I wish for next year that they kind of 86 the mesh or the tooling and go for an actual real skirt with real fabric. Uh, they used to have Christmas outfits years ago that actually had real fabric. They were gorgeous. They would do coats, all sorts of stuff. I wish they would bring that back. I really do. Or at least put that on the doll. Yes. Yeah, either way. So we hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment down below. We'd love to start a conversation with you. Let us know which limited edition doll that's released so far is your favorite. Do you like the Sugar Plum Fairy? Do you like the Winter Princess? Or the new one, Sapphire Splendor? Please give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're passing by, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Remember to ring that bell, ding ding, so you'll be notified when we do more videos. Thank you everybody for watching. And don't forget to join us next time as, as we focus on the cute. Bye. Bye-bye, everybody.